Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich, Holly's behind the camera. Last week we put out a video about when to change food for uh, your young chicks. Today we're gonna talk about kind of the other side topic with that. When do you combine your flocks? Now we've got girls that are 16 and a half weeks and we've got some that are, I don't know, a year and a half old? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you're not happy, are you? We're combining flocks today. One thing I want to show you before it changes, look who's up on the top. All of our, all of our bigs sleep up there. They all sleep on the tree. That's a little up there on the tree. That will not, that will not work tonight. I can guarantee that. So we're gonna have a learning experience for her tonight. Um, why did we combine them? Why did we wait till right now? Let me show you. Here's, here's uh, three of our bigs. Two of the uh, Bard Rock and one of our uh, Isa Brown. See the size of them? You know, good size. Now, here's about the size of our newest Isa Browns. That's not too close. Not, uh, as you can see, she's immature. She's uh, not the, the uh, comb and waddle, see how they're still pink? But she is about, I don't know, 90% of the size. Other than she's very skittish uh, from being just a youngster and uh, that comb and waddle, they're just about the same size as, uh, the, as the bigs, the little. So, um, the criteria that we, don't trip over anything, <laughs> the criteria we use, we want them to be about the same size. If you're going to combine flocks, make sure they're about the same size. If you put little tiny ones with some big ones, you're asking for just a bunch of pecking and possible injury to your, uh, to your chicks. The other thing that we waited for was what we discussed last week. We switched, starting to switch the girls, they're on a half and half now, uh, their food. They're, uh, they've got chick food and it's half mixed with the adult food, the layer uh, crumbles. So they're ready, they're ready. The other thing we're looking at is they are getting those, some of them are getting some real red combs and wattles. When the bigs are in laying in the nesting boxes, a bunch of the littles are walking by, they're looking in, they're hopefully taking notes, they're trying to figure out, uh, hopefully they're picking up, hey, here's where I lay eggs. I can tell that the old ones, are the bigs, when they lay an egg now, they're letting the world know. Am I correct? They are. They're letting the world know that they laid an egg. I think they are telling the, the littles, hey, look what I just did, I'm a big, I, I think. They are really vocal. Um, they're not, uh, we just opened the door last night. Actually, I just took the door off. So the littles can come and go. They're all in this together now. Um, outside their door, I might even shut that and, and leave it uh, closed, but they had a fenced in area. The fence is down. The littles have free range of the entire property and beyond. Um, they get about, 50 yards from the barn, and that's about the max uh, that they go. They don't really hang with the bigs yet. I think it's gonna take about a week, and once a week, by next weekend, I'm guessing that some of them will be integrated um, out free ranging with them. Um, am I missing anything? Not that I can think of. The, I, I'll just tell you that, you know, it's, it's a learning experience. These girls, they might like being, and maybe they are the top dogs in, in the little group, but this will not work. We've got seven bigs, um, and they are... And usually there's four to five sitting on that top roost. Yeah, usually four, two, and one or something. Sometimes three, two, two. But um, one thing we are going to do since we've got Isa Brown's uh, in both group, the bigs, just so we know who's who, we're going to band 
uh, the older ones. There's three Isa Browns. Pretty soon they're going to look darn identical oh, to these girls. We've got one right behind you. Yeah, she's see she's a little, but to see her comb and waddle, how it's uh, how bright red, how big it is compared to the others. There's about three of them of our uh, this year's Isas that uh, you're going to be laying within a week, aren't you? She's not bowing to me. She's still skittish. If I go to to pet her, she's running. If if uh, if she were mature enough to be laying eggs. Um, she would have bowed there and let me uh, pet her. So tonight what's going to eventually happen, these girls will come down off the top, they'll be forced down, um, and all the bigs will be in the tree. The littles will probably sleep in, in their old coop. They've got a whole other roost over there that one of them ex is exploring now, but I suspect they will all be sleeping in their coop. So uh, anyways... If you're going to combine your flocks, make sure they're the same size or darn close. Make sure they're on the same food um, so that you don't, otherwise you're going to have the adults eating the kids' food and vice versa. Um, but our girls are going into lay so they can, they can be using uh, the adult food uh, or the layer feed. Yeah, make sure they've got space and they're, they're ready to go. People have been asking about this, so glad we could put out two videos on, on that. But uh, thanks for watching. If you got questions about combining your flocks, put them down, uh, down below, and we'll, uh, we'll answer them. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.